All right, I'm totally recording this on a whim. Uh, this is half of DJ Talks. It's just a J. I'm Johnny. Um, so I recently got a ton of uh, codes of Pokemon trading card game codes. Like my my buddy Jimmy just gave me like a ton of codes. Um, I guess there's a lot of evolutions packs, a lot of Steam Siege, and some tins and stuff. Just like a bunch of random stuff. Like look at all of these codes. Like holy crap. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll clean this up later. But, um, I don't know, I thought it'd be cool if I, like, kind of recorded it and, uh, went through all my packs, so, and there's a bunch of signed lens too, so let's start all the way at the end, um, I'm gonna start with this Marsh Shadow tin, uh, let's see, oh, there's two Marsh Shadow GX, it's pretty cool, um, got, uh, this looks like, I don't know if this is pre-sorted, maybe this is all just stuff that you usually get, um, whatever, seems like, Nothing special. Oh yeah, it looks like definitely, it definitely looks like some pre-sorted stuff because I got exactly two Necrozma and like it's one of all this other random stuff. It's cool. Shiny energy is always really nice. Um, doesn't look like I got, I got any other foils, but the two Necrozma GX is pretty cool. Um, nice. All right. Oh, I got a lot of Steam Siege. I don't even think Steam Siege is in a standard rotation anymore, but whatever. I'm gonna see what we get anyway. Oh man, I should have the stupid sound effects playing so you can hear them. Um, oh, what the heck? This clink looks goofy as fuck. All right, got a special charge. All right. Oh, wait, wait it is. Maybe it's not a special. I don't remember. Moongus. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here because I'm gonna turn those goofy sounds on so we can hear the, the, the packs coming. Wait. Oh, is it muted in my windows? Hello. That's probably it. Oh yeah, it was. It was definitely muted in my windows. That's okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Oh, we got two flip overs. What do we got here? A proba pass. It looks goofy. Chandelure. Once per turn before you attack, you may look at the top two cards in your hand. Put one at the bottom. Discard the other. Yeah, that's garbage. All right, next card. Let's see. All right, next pack. It's also like 4 a.m. when I'm recording this. Um, it's also daylight savings. Oh, this is a good, a good talent flame. Um, today was daylight savings time, so it just it's technically 3 a.m. I guess, and like how my body feels, but um, I am pretty. Oh, that's dope. Your Mega GX. Not affected by weakness, resistance, or any other Pokemon effects. That's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, this goes with the deck that's, um, where if you have exactly four cards in your hand, you, all your attacks are, like, free, um, and you don't have to use energy from them. That's, that's really cool. All right. Get to, I'm hoping I get, like, at least doubles or triples of relevant cards so I can, like, build some of these decks. That'd be really cool. Um. I know, like, trading stuff online is kind of hard unless you just buy the codes, but I didn't buy any of these codes. It's really nice that my boy Jimmy hooked me up, so let's see what we got here. Oh! Mega Guardy. Hell yeah, dude. This looks nice. I actually really want this card in real life. I, I've been, like, trying to collect Gardevoirs and stuff just because, like, I'm a sucker for that shit, but um, haven't got my hands on a Mega Gardevoir EX. It's full art before, so it's really cool. I've always really liked the art on Pokemon Ranger. I just thought like the characters look really cool. And I actually played like the 3DS game where you like circle around and like, capture Pokemon and stuff. It's pretty obnoxious, but Let's see what we got here. Oh, this this is the a... decent Xerneas. Nice. I'm pr I'm pretty sure I've seen that top decks before. I don't even know it's relevant. Uh, Bergmite? I didn't know Bergmite was a Pokemon. A full art Pokemon Ranger. All right, that's pretty dope. All right, very nice. All right, what do we got? Garbage. Come on, what do we got here? I always thought these like cartoon-looking like Pokemon cards like a real hit or miss. Some of them are just like really weird looking, and others are like you know pretty cool. This uh, Samurott is. I mean, it looks cool, but. This this art reminds me of like the much older art that you used to see in Pokemon cards. And this is a really adorable shellos. Holy shit. 
Oh, we already got through like 12 packs. What the hell? That was fast. It's probably gonna be a short video then. Let's see. Oh, Toxic Croak's pretty cool. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's poison Pokemon. It's kind of cool. Shift Tree. They don't really make these like dual type, like, kind of Pokemon in it anymore. Let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Clink, clink. Any damage done to this Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10 for each colorless in your opponent's active retreat cost. Oh, at each energy in your active retreat. That's, that's kind of funny. Oh, there's a stupid Ponita that you see in those uh, fucking child decks that you're supposed to play with in the game. Ooh, that's nice! A full art Sycamore. Hell yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. That's really nice. It's gonna be like my one up in all of my decks, cause, oh man, oh another. Oh, I guess all right, whatever. Ooh, okay. So we got the full, the Mega Guardi, the Full Art Pokemon Ranger, and the Sycamore. Those are probably, those are really good from Steam Siege. All right, that was dope. Uh, moving on to Fates Collide. We only have six of these, so probably not gonna get anything like super dope here. But you never know, right? Let's see. <laughs> Omega Alakazam EX Zen Forces 30 more damage for each damage Connor Okay, not bad I have two of them? Since when? That's cool What's oh, Power Memory? This looks cool Oh, it's a Zygarde thing Oh, uh, whatever <sighs> Garbage Give me some more cool stuff, man. I don't want like another Mega Alakazam. That was dope as fuck. Oh, this looks so good. A foil chaos tower. That's really nice. This is like a super anime type like pose, like looking up at your fate or some shit. Or like looking at the world about to end and you have to like stop it or whatever. Let's see. Oh, a foil scorched earth, that's nice. Huh. Uh, nothing. Strong energy though, that's pretty cool. I feel like having those like random utility type energy cards is like always kind of nice to have. Oh, another shiny chaos tower. That's very nice. All right, whatever. That's garbage. Maybe it's not garbage. I just don't know what it does. But it didn't look cool, so I don't care. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, evolutions. This is a throwback set. That's all. Where all the cards look like base uh, from the original, like base set or whatever. Um, so let's see. The Mewtwo in the set is really good. I know you've seen a decent amount of Mewtwo in competitive. Uh, oh, that Radada is really good for mischi mischievous Fang, because you just play it and he gets rid of a tool. Not this guy. Fuck this guy. Because you play it and it just drops a tool from your active uh, Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Brock's Grid is actually a decent card. You shuffle card, like any Pokemon or basic energy from your uh, your discard pile back to your deck. And isn't there um, uh, Super Rod puts shit back? Fishman grabs energy, but like he's he just grabs any combination of six, which is pretty useful. That's cool. This Raichu looks really cool. But the cards look like trash. I mean, just they're not shiny. Like they don't look like they did anything. Anyway, um, uh, oh, oh, I've never seen three shinies like this before. What the heck? All right, let's go one at a time. All right, this is the good star me. You d you dump a card and search two energy. That's pretty good. Here it comes. The All right, it's town map for everybody. All right, and a surfing Pikachu. All right. All right, well, I guess we'll take it. Starmie's probably the best card here. Nice, nice. So I guess, like, I'm looking for cards that are playable that I know exist and look really good. That's kind of, like, the trend that we're going at, right? Maybe there are cards that I'm totally overlooking that are totally good and totally playable, um, but I just don't know about it, so I'm not reading it. Um, all right, trash. Come on, man. Give me some more, like, full arts, man. I want to see, like, the good stuff. Where are we at? Oh, shiny switch. We always take those. All right. That's a Hitmonchan. Looks looks good. Another Surfing <laughs> Pikachu. Fucking uh, garbage. Let's see. 
Come on. De evolution spray. Nice. Ooh! That looks pretty cool. Look at his eyes shining, man. That's like. That's intense. What the hell? If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack of your opponent's last turn, you do the same amount of damage. 20 damage to one of your bench. Yeah, it's pretty garbage, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. I think I actually own a copy of that card in real life. Garbage. Was this set really full of garbage? Wait, 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 this is Mew? Good? Prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon by opponent's evolution Pokemon. Why would you play this? I guess... It seems kind of troll. What? Alright, what does this Nidoking do? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put two damage counters instead of one. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess, if you're running like a Nidoking break deck or something. Oh, do break cards come in evolutions? This is where you get like Greninja break and shit? Or is it all like the original 150 at a break? I wish I knew. Oh, it's the same garbage dugong from earlier. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on. What else we got? Ooh, I owned this Electabuzz as a kid. Oh, another Brock's Grit. Oh, okay, we trade one away. I actually don't think anyone wants to. I should have read the Arcanine. But, oh well. Let's see. Oh, another fucking Brock's Grit. It's shiny. What do we got here? Electrode. Looks like garbage. <laughs> Why is. <laughs> Hello? That's. Alright. Alright, what else do we got here? Why does Pikachu look like he needs to hit the gym? Jesus. Alright. This B Joe I've seen. I got Windows before. Oh, this, this is the Mewtwo. For one DCE, you do 20 damage times 20 more for every active. Double Psychic during your opponent's turn, print all attacks and do damage on this Pokemon. If one of your Pokemon used Barrier, your last one can use again. I guess you really just use it for Psychic, it's just like a basic with that attack. Oh, this is hilarious! I have this card. I don't know exactly what the purpose of this card is or like what it's referring to, but I think it's really trolly. It looks great. Alright, good pack, good pack. Let's see. What else we got here? There's only so many of these stupid Electabuzz. Eradicate. Garbage. Maybe the set really was full of garbage. Ho! Oh. Mega Blast Toy CS. This is Taxus. 30 damage times 2. Oh, 30 damage to 2 of your opponents. Okay. Well, that's a pretty cool looking card, man. It's intense. I wish I could read the Japanese on it. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. All right, garbage. What's next? What's next? Mm. Uh, why is this new? Have I not pulled a fire engine like that before? Oh no, I don't want to get more. Fuck, man. Let me just go back to my the collection, the goods, man. All right, all right, all right. All right. So I got what two Brox Grit, one uh Pidget EX, the uh Blastoise Mega Blaster CX, and then uh the Nido King break. That's not bad. Kinda garbage, but breakthrough. Let's see. I feel like I should know cards from this set, because this is closer to standard rotation when I started playing. So I'm probably gonna Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Skyla. More cards that I recognize. Alright. I really hope this is all recording, by the way. I should have done the test video so I knew that like, everything was going. Mm. Uh, this doesn't look like any good. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to pull my Shaman in this Ancient Origins pack, and I'm going to feel really good about this video. That's a dream. Shaman! Ah. Uh. It's okay. It's okay. All right, Guardians Rising. I'm actually really open, excited to open these packs because I could always use more Tapu Leles. I also there's like just random GXs that I want from this set. This is definitely a set that I'm way more familiar with, given the fact. Oh, Aqua Patch. I 
definitely needed some aqua patches, so that's awesome. I also need an enhanced hammer, so that's also really awesome. Uh, ugly. Alright. Yeah, I didn't open enough Guardians Rising packs. I really should have bought some more packs. <laughs> oh, you got a secret Vicable GX. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Feels fucking good. What do you got here? Oh, this Delmai is pretty good. Your steel Pokemon attack do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. I, I've heard of people attacking this. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh man, that Vickable might be the best best pull of the day. The best pull I get all day. Let's see. That pack was garbage. Oh, another enhanced hammer will take it. Talent Flame, give me like a foil aqua patch or something. I'm gonna go with it. What does she do? Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the active Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to the new active. If this opponent if this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached to them, this attack does 80 more damage. It's a stage two though. That's that's garbage. I guess it's, it, it seems like it could be a cool like troll deck or something, but oh no. What do we got here? Flanelux and oh Kamo GX, not bad. Kamo's one of those Pokemon where like in VGC I wish it was cooler, like I wish it was better. What the fuck? It just does 240 damage just cause? What the hell? Thirty plus next turn is 30, 30 less damage. And next, this attack is not affected by any effects. You know, it's cool. But uh, wasn't double dragon energy rotated out or something? So like cards like these aren't as good anymore or something. That's unlucky. Just give me my Tapu Lele layer, like some more uh, useful. Ah, yes, another Aqua Patch. That's cool. What do you got here? Oh, Shiny Dalmai. Sorry, right, we'll take that. It's pretty good. Uh, the Oracorio Witness. You can search your deck for two basic energy cards. Alright, that's not bad. Um, Aqua Patch is probably the best card from there, and uh, maybe the foil Delmise, but. Let's see. Oh, Rescue Shutter! Garbage. Oh, that was my last uh, Guardians Rising pack. Unlucky. Hmm. Oh, we got two chances for something good. Another Oreo Cario, and then. Worst guys. Alright. I mean, I guess I have. I have three Lele's, but I'd like a fourth foot. You know, that was cool. Really nice Vicavolt GX and a Kamol GX. The Kamol GX is whatever, but Vicavolt looks really cool. I guess you can't really play that without um, Tapu Bulu, but you know how it goes, dude. Oh, uh, listen, mean. Any two combination of supporter. Just get out of hand. Oh, I actually don't know anything about this set. I, like, I got really busy with work when this set dropped. Um, so I don't really know anything about it, but it doesn't look like I have many Crimson Innovation packs anyway, so... Let's see what we got here. Skin guard. Whenever your opponent attaches energy from their hand to put two down. Oh, that sounds annoying. The fuck, man. But whatever. Last crimson invasion pack. Probably not gonna get anything good here. Um. Your Registeels. Oh, you have to run Registeel with the Registeel. Whatever. Dashing pouch. If the Pokemon, this card is attached to this card, as energy first you can put that energy into your hand instead of your discard pile. It's not bad. Um, it's whatever. Alright, then we have Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, and Shining Legends. Why did it come in this order? It's older. Whatever. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with the older one first, just because I feel like breaking, breaking the standard of me going in order the entire time. Sun and Moon... There isn't much that's good in this set anymore that I can think of. Um, I know like some highlight cards from the set were like the Sidgwa GX. I actually don't remember what else gave me this set. Oh, you got like Lunala, Sogalio. So Sogalio would be pretty cool. Um, I actually don't know what else is like really super good in this set though. I don't remember. I bought a decent amount of Sun and Moon when it came out because that's like, that was like the new that set was just droppy when I started playing um, so this is why GX was my first deck so a lot of these cards are like pretty familiar like just having opened them at locals and stuff but I don't know if there's anything that's actually oh this Pissimia is pretty good oh I got a Lunala that's pretty nice um, oh yeah 
can move around psychic energy, which is pretty cool. Knock out any opponent's non-GX basic Pokemon. That's kind of <laughs> funny. Um, but this Pacific is pretty cool. You do 30 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, or you do 10 plus 30 damage for each of your bench Pissimian. So the idea here is that you have four Pissimian in the bench, and you have the Mew that like copies attacks to some shit. Um, pretty sure that's how you're supposed to play it. And they're all basic Pokemon, so... I don't know if that Mew is basic, though. Maybe it's EX or something. It might be EX. So I guess the deck's not that good, but... I know that was something that was kind of funny. Oh! Nice! Full art team skull grunt. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I actually don't know if people play that anymore. Um, I want to say they don't, but the card looks dope, so I'll take it. Alright, I'll go with my Sun and Moon Packs. Then we go to Burning Shadows before we go into Shining Legends. Shining Legends, I don't even think there's anything good in that set, really. But. Actually, no, that was one of the sets that dropped while I. Oh, it's my boy. Um. Oh, Tapu Fini. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, what was I going to say? Looking back at the Sun and Moon set, uh, I forgot what my highlight pull was from there. Oh, that Team Skullground is definitely a highlight pull, but the Tapu Fini from this set's pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Thick Fat. I got a lot of that. But that's garbage. Um, bu, 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 bu. What do we got here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh wait, what? That's not a that doesn't mean favorited? I mean I guess I want more of a Ooh, it looks nice. Ah, oh, I did good, y'all. I did real good. Got a glissified Glissified GX. Max rarity. Feels good. Fuck yeah, man. Ugh. Oh. Man, I got some decent pulls out of these packs. It's pretty good, pretty good. Alright. So, Shining Legends. It says the Sun and Moon pack. Which probably means that it came out sometime between... When I got really busy with work and now. Um, I don't know what's in the set. I also don't know if it's a good set. But... I'll tell you guys now. The only thing that this is doing... Is it really must? It really makes me want to buy more Pokemon cards in real life, which is really bad because I need to save up so I can move out of my parents' house. But um, man, there are a lot of really nice-looking cards here. This Evil Tall man looks pretty cool. I know that when we're opening the real life packs of Shining Legends with Jimmy, my friend Jimmy, who like gave me all these. Uh, oh, this Shiny me looks so nice. Um, he got some pretty cool cards. I don't remember what they were, but it's like, you know, pretty cool. Um, oh, what the heck? Warp energy. This provides any energy, or blank energy. Attach your hand and active Pokemon. Switch that. Oh! it's pretty cool. Oh, this set has, is this the one with all the weird energy in it? Like, there's, uh, like the fire, water, grass energy card. And then there's the, like, fighting psychic or some shit, like, it provides one of the three types of energy. Mewtwo GX. What the fuck? This card does attack 30 times 30 energy. Okay. Heal. And this attack isn't effective by any. That's so dope. What the heck? That is so cool. I, sh I guess I should have guessed that there was a Mewtwo GX just based on a fucking art of the packs. That's so cool. What does Breeder do? Draw 2, heal 20. No card in deck can't play. That's this art is adorable. Alright, whatever. Why do I keep pulling this guy? Give me more of those Mewtwo GXs, man. They look so cool. Sophocles. There's an old card uh, that this was like a better version of this. It's called Felicity's Drawing. You could dump one to draw three or dump two to draw four. You had the option. It's, it was a supporter. So it's kind of cool. Card. It's kind of cool to see a card like this kind of revived a little bit. Um, but I, oh! Alright, this is a really good Zorak GX. Oh! Oh! Okay, so one of my buddies was telling me about this deck. 
and he said that everyone's running like three or four of these Zoroark now because it's just like that good because of the stupid trade skill and you, you turn like any card in your hand to a pot of greed literally any card you just dump it and draw two right um, that's really cool um, and it has an attack with a DC like that's that's DCE like that's really fucking good um, even if it's not going to do that much damage like I guess you'll do a hundred if you have a full bench um, no, it'd be 120 with a full bench and active because they each of your Pokemon in play. Um, so it's just like 120 for a DCE and a really, really good skill. This card is really fucking good. Um, glad I pulled one. I didn't know it came in Shining Legends. Um, it's good to know. What do we got here? Garbage. Man, I really want to buy more packs. And this is so bad. Fuck me, man. I want to have these cards in real life, but... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this bad boy. This attack does 150 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Man, that's nasty. But is this any good? There's no re I don't know of any good ways to attach fire energy, but maybe I'm wrong. Heat cycling. Once during return, you may switch your opponents. You may have your opponent switch to active Pokemon of their bench Pokemon. Or oh, this gives them the option. Damage move. Move three damage counters from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. Interesting. For sure. Oh, that's a lot of really cool cards in the set. Oh, Spirit Tomb. Yeah, the Cat Retreat. Cool. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's GX or EX Pokemon. Oh, this is the new fucking, uh... Uh... The little carbink, carbink. There's uh, like a st funny carbink once upon a time. Okay, it came out like you ca it doesn't, you can't take damage from EX Pokemon, and that's all there was at the time when everyone played EX Pokemon. So, um, I know I, I was playing in a in a draft that used uh, pre-release packs, and I won a game because this guy like, had like really good pulls from his packs, and he fought like four EX Pokemon, but my carbink just shed on him because um, like he couldn't attack or deal damage, so I just poked him out. This Palkia is cool, but kind of garbage. All right, two packs of Shining Legend stuff. So far, we got a Entei GX, a Mewtwo GX, and a Zorark GX. Really good uh, from the small number of packs that I have. Super Scoop. Oh, this is a reprint of Super Scoop Up. Okay. I know Super Scoop Up got reprinted. Maybe it was this set. Maybe it got reprinted in another set, too. Oh, Marshadow. I won. It's a uh, Judge. Right? Yeah, when you play it, it's Judge. The Judge uh, supporter. But yeah, anyway, um, I knew that my old Super Scoop Ups, the little Piplup art, would be valuable. I didn't know that it was this set that I got reprinted in, possibly. Shining Arceus. Or Arceus, whatever. As long as this Pokemon is active, Pokemon print all damage from your bench Pokemon. To your bench Pokemon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so not bad. I had some pretty good pulls. I think my favorite pull was, I mean, playability wise. The Zoroark GX is like super good. Um, I don't. I guess the Sycamore, uh, the Flower Sycamore is really cool too. Tapu Fini might be cool because I pulled two. I wish I recorded that that too, but I pulled two Palkia GXs. Um, and uh, can I sort this by like when I got it? Expansion newest is that like? Oh, that's that's kind of garbage. Whatever. Um, I, I, can I show them to you? The Palkias that I pulled? Anyway, I pulled two Palkia GXs, and I'm like, oh, I can't do jack shit with these, but I'm um, having more water Pokemon. I might be able to build like a troll deck with them. I got two Dialga GXs, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, here they are. Here's one full art Palkia GX, and here's this gorgeous fucking rainbow Palkia. But I was thinking it'd be really nice if I could build like a troll deck with them since uh, they need water energy, but then it's like a dragon Pokemon, so like it's kind of weird. But I don't know, it'd be cool. Um,. Yeah, it was really cool to like see all these like random Pokemon that I hadn't seen before. Mewtwo GX, like this art looks so bomb. I want this card in real life, dude. It looks so good. Uh, this Entei looks okay. It seems kind of garbage too, but like you know, Entei's Entei. My Arcanine and Pokemon Go is named Entei, so I guess that's uh, got a special place in my heart. I must have skipped. Yeah, the Zoroark is really nice. Um, I guess I got some pretty good pulls under packs. I don't feel like too bad about it. Uh. 
Oh yeah, this Galizapod GX too, man. I got, but they're all like one ups. So now I gotta like find other ways to trade for playsets of these cards if I want to build these decks. Which I don't think is gonna be that bad. Like if I want to just like buy a stack of the newest set and um, just like trade to make some decks, that'd be really cool. But yeah, I mean, I was just really, I wasn't really bored, but I just wanted to like build or like oh, do a video about packs. I just thought it'd be really fun. So, like, I don't know. If this is the kind of thing you guys want to see, if you're like, and if you got some interest in uh, Pokemon trading card game online, um, I might start streaming it soon. I might start doing more with it. But, like, as this is totally different from, like, the usual podcasting that you guys are probably used to watching. Um, so, if you made it this far and you're chilling with me, appreciate the love. Um, if you want to know more about Pokemon trading card game online or if there's anything that you want to see more of, I do, I am thinking about doing more like solo content in addition to what Dan and I are usually doing because I love talking to Dan, I love working with him, but I wanted to like try other things. So uh, let me know in the comments below or in an email at D, uh, djtalkspodcast at gmail.com um, if there's like any feedback that you have or things you want to see. I'm rambling and I'm just repeating myself. I'm really tired. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.